Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I got a box in the mail from a fellow YouTuber named Simon the Magpie. If you don't know Simon, I would best describe him as a mad scientist in terms of making music and fiddling with musical equipment. So when he asked me if he could send me something weird, I said yes, definitely. All I know about this box is what I can read on the label. There are four pieces of equipment in it and it came from Sweden. And the only thing I requested of Simon was that whatever he puts in here can't permanently injure me or get me sent to jail. Before we dive into it, I wanna quickly let you guys know that I just released my 2019 fall merch line, the Pixelated Guitar Playing Samurai. You can get this 8-bit design with the words Samurai Guitarist on the side in a shirt or hoodie like I'm wearing over www.shopsamuraiguitarist.com. All right, let's get into it, literally. All right, Simon, what did you send me? On a scale of one to 10, I would say I'm only 5% worried. Okay, so I open this box and what do I find? An envelope that says, read me. And read you I shall. Hello and welcome to your Magpie Starter Kit, Pedal Edition. Inside you will find two toys turned pedals and two circuit bent pedals. One bent pedal is inside the doll head. It's a Montreal assembly. Your and your. Very interesting. Be careful with the DS1 because it can output a lot of volume. Also, only use one power input. I've included a USB drive with more info and all the pedals if you feel lost. Okay, enjoy. Simon the Magpie. Well, I kind of feel like I'm in the musical equivalent of a Saw movie. Hopefully this ends well. First, we have a pair of sunglasses. How do I look? Pretty cool. I think I do. All right. Let's go with this thing first. Uh, remember when I said I felt like I was in the musical equivalent of the Saw movie? Okay, so this is clearly some sort of pedal device. I plug in, turn on. I mean, I guess I just try it. Okay, so. Okay, so so far what I'm getting from this thing is it's a fuzz pedal with a gate on it, which means when it drops below a certain threshold, it cuts out. But it also has this weird little red knob on the side of little, little Susie's head. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It kind of sounds like a baby crying. Maybe that's what he was going for. Okay, nice one. Good start to the day. Cool stuff, Simon. Okay, what do we have here? Oh my lord. Uh, it's a Distortion DS1, which you may know as a boss pedal, one of the most standard boss pedals in the world. Almost everyone has one, uh, but I don't think many people have one that look like this. Now I'm wondering if I'm meant to connect these little holes with some other cables. Okay, so I'm guessing this rat's nest of cables ties into this. That or I'm about to electrocute myself. And Simon, you told me you wouldn't do that. Okay, so that one, that setting is called This Baby Crying. Okay, what I think is going on in here is that there is a standard distortion DS1 unit in half of the pedal, and then uh, Simon built some sort of crazy circuit board on the other side, and then these cables allow you to jump around between sections of that circuit board, giving you all those types of crazy sounds you heard. So I feel like at this point, we can move on. That one's pretty cool. All right. Simon says, 
go into the box and find what's next. Okay. This looks like something I can handle. There is one knob and one selector knob here. Turns on, turns off. I think I can probably figure this one out. I suspect this cable has something to do with this input right here. Ah, uh, this might be backwards. I have a feeling maybe this one got damaged in shipping and came a long way from Sweden. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Maybe you should check out the USB. Maybe, maybe I should check out the manual. All right, Simon, what's up with this one? The Babynator. So this is made with a tiny voice changer megaphone toy. That's why I only have these four different modes. And then this is an RC filter on the output just because it's such a crazy noisy circuit. And this is a touchy-feely where I'm including this crocodile because you can like put it on stuff and that will f with the circuit. Okay, so I'm worried. I think this thing may have gone damaged, unfortunately. Because it's supposed to like, as far as I can tell, it's supposed to, it's going through like a megaphone circuit, but it makes no noise. Digging around, what will we find? Hopefully we don't find a spider. Uh, if my car wasn't working and I had to stop and pull over, I would open up the hood, knowing full well that nothing is gonna make any sense in there. That's kind of where I'm at with this. Something is clearly wrong. Somebody who knows more about electronics would probably know what to do in this situation, but I don't. You should call them so you can get them on live chat. <laughs> what time is it in Sweden? What time is it now? It's 1026. Time in Sweden plus seven hours, 5 a.m. Simon, I have an emergency. I'm trying to shoot this video. There's a cable that's not connected. Well, I don't know if I can do any better with this thing. Unfortunately, shipping things across the ocean sometimes has a detrimental effect on electronics. This looks to be one of those times. All right, well, we got one more pedal in here, I think. That was dumb, why did I dump all this? This is gonna be such a pain to clean up. All right, this is the last pedal here. It's got a picture of Kylo ran on it. It has one knob, two buttons. It says force. I feel like I can handle this one. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, so what I think is going on here is that there is a synthesizer in this thing and when I play a note, it triggers that synthesizer to make a noise. All right, well, let's consult. Let's consult the USB stick. Kylo Ren Octave Fuss. Kylo Ren? Star Wars character. So it's based on a toy that sort of is supposed to mimic his voice from his face in the movie. All right, so I was pretty close in my analysis of what this thing does. The only thing I didn't know was it actually came from a toy that is meant to mimic Kylo Ren's voice, and now we can do it um, with a guitar, so. Okay, there's one more thing here, and it's not a pedal. This is proof of concept. Plug it into a guitar or pedal, and any old slash new radio becomes an amp. Oh, I see what this is. It's a little, um, it's a little, uh, what you call it? It's a radio sender, uh, radio sender of signal. Yay. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> what's, what's the name? A transmitter. Uh, it just transmits your, your signal to an open uh, radio frequency. Do you have a radio? Mm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Me neither. <In> <laughs> Me neither. Does, is there an app for the iPhone that connects to a radio? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Five pieces of technology from Simon the Magpie. I got three out of five of them working. And as Meatloaf said, 
three out of five ain't bad. If you're into this kind of wacky techie stuff, make sure you head over to Simon the Magpie's channel. I've linked to it in the description. I feel like these pedals represent what he does fairly well. It's entertaining and I'm sure you'll find something you enjoy. Remember the fall 2019 Sammy G merch line is available over at www.shopsamuraiguitarist.com as well as the other collections I've released as well. Thank you all for watching. If you want to check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for regular musical content. A big thank you again to Simon for sending me these crazy pedals. Until next time, I'm Samurai Guitarist and I will see you again soon. I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs>